the word Tea Party makes people think political party, but it really is not aimed at being a political party. I, I think it's a movement to really influence the Republican Party primarily and to force the Republican Party to take on positions which in some ways have been part of Republican rhetoric for a long time, uh, but then also to take on other issues which Tea Party supporters favor. So I, I think it is a, a factional um, movement rather than a third party movement. What the Tea Party will bring to the Republicans is incredible enthusiasm. Republicans are a lot more enthusiastic than Democrats, which I think is a serious problem for Democrats. The Tea Party people within the Republicans are far more enthusiastic than other Republicans. And I think that indicates why they've done well in primaries. Um, you know, these are low turnout elections by and large, and an enthusiastic group can be pretty influential. And I think they w will get some of their, their people in office. I, I think, you know, they're running, you know, well in Colorado, it's very close there. That It's close in Kentucky, but um, I think people sort of see as leaning Republican. Um, Utah, of course, will be a Tea Party Republican. Um, Alaska will be a Tea Party Republican. Their success is not necessarily in the Sharon Angles and the, these other people they, they've gotten nominated. I think their success is at least as great in the John McCain's, who's now turned his back on immigration reform, which he championed, and basically come to the Tea Party. Uh, Chuck Grassley, um, I think lots of Republicans have shifted, at least in their rhetoric and also in their behavior, because of this movement. So, you know, if the goal of the movement is to reshape the Republican Party, certainly in the short run, they, they've had success there. Not total, but they've certainly had success. The question is sort of what happens after 2010. It's classic um, sort of anger at, at incumbents. A lot of Tea Party people really believe that if government didn't do things, private individuals would. And so it is harmful to the American spirit, the American ethos, for government to step in when private individuals would do it were they not seeing that government's doing it, so why bother?